you guys doing? Awesome. So how many of you guys here have ever created a digital product and sold it online? Well, I have some good news for you and some bad news. Which you guys want first? The bad news is what I'm going to teach you requires you to do some work. <laughs> All right. And I know affiliates hate doing work. You want to know the good news now? The good news is when you promote a digital product, you pretty much have something that has 100% margins, right? So when you're doing advertising, you're selling something, what's your cost? Pretty much nothing. It's just the hosting after you create the product, of course. So let's get started. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to create a digital product that generates at least $100,000 a month. Here's my Twitter handle. You don't have to tweet. If you do, my assistant will probably reply to you because I haven't used Twitter in ages, but it still works. So here's a screenshot of daily revenue. I don't even know what it says, last 30 days. Based on the dates, it's probably not the last 30 days because we're not in August. But you can see the trend, and it keeps going up and up. Yesterday was, uh, what day is today? Monday? It was funny, on Saturday in the US, I was checking the stats, and we sold something like 36 digital products in a day. And I'm like, this isn't too bad for a Saturday. I actually didn't even spend much money on advertising. I think it was 3,000 something dollars. I also have a lot of organic traffic. Can you guess how much I sell the digital product for? 1,000 bucks a pop. It's not too shabby, right? And when I say those sales, that's after refunds. So let's get started. I'm going to teach you guys how to make money selling a digital product. First step, what industry should you enter? And I'm going to go quick because there's so many slides. I picked the digital marketing industry. Can you see what's wrong with the digital marketing industry? It was too late when I started. If I picked something like nutrition, I would have sold so many more ebooks, so many more video courses. You see why? It's so much more popular. You just go to Google Trends, type in a niche, like flashlights, and you can see how popular something is. All right? So when you're doing this, you want to make sure you're not competing with marketers. You know how hard it is to compete in the digital marketing space? You're competing with people like me. I found out the other day my assistant was telling me, you know, like, hey, you got Bangkok coming up. I've been traveling a lot. I did Brazil, Australia, Toronto, then here. And I haven't been home in months. And throughout the traveling, he's like, oh, you're going to Affiliate World Asia. You're trying to get more involved in the affiliate space. I'm like, why would you say that? Because I make all my money from the Fortune 1000. He's like, oh, you rank on Google for affiliate marketing on the first page. I was like, huh, good to know. I never knew that, right? But it just shows you, us marketers, we know how to drive traffic from places like Google. You guys are marketers. Do you want to compete with the person? Turn to your right and turn to your left. Do you want to compete with that person to drive traffic to offer? No, pick something that's not as competitive. Here's an example. This is organic traffic. This is one of my blogs, Quick Sprout. Another one, Wellness Mama. Wellness Mama is not my blog. It's a blog by this mother who talks about how to make your own suntan lotion at home. She gets 10 million unique visitors a month. I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. You're gonna talk about wearing goggles tonight at bed, right? Like she wears goggles to bed or she has some article about that. I'm like, why would you wear water goggles to bed? And why would you make your own sunscreen when you can buy that shit for five bucks, right? But yeah, she gets 10 million visitors talking about that shit. And look how many links she has. At the very bottom column, total linking root domains. She has 757. I have over 1,815. That's the primary driver of Google traffic. Can you guess the difference? Even though I have more than double the links of her, she gets over 10 million unique visitors a month, and I'm at a million. Do you see why you want to pick a really broad niche? All right, so now that you know that, right? You got to make sure whatever niche you pick, you know really well. You have to be an expert at it. I tried creating a nutrition website for fun, for shits and giggles. I actually got a lot of traffic. I didn't make really much money after it because like after I started selling fish oil pills, made over 100 grand a month, I didn't give a shit about it. Why? I'm not an expert in nutrition. I don't care for it. Marketing I do way better, but I love it. So. Once you figure out your niche, you need to pick a product that you should create. 
don't just create any product, right? You have to create a product that helps people. If it doesn't help people, you're not gonna do too well. If people buy your shit and it doesn't help them, what are they gonna do? At least in the US, in Brazil, they don't really do this. <laughs> They'll refund in the US. You'll get like 20% refund rates. In Brazil, you won't even get 5% refund rates when you have a shit product. Japan, they don't believe in refunds. You can have the shittiest product ever and you won't even get one refund. <laughs> I should not be telling you guys this. I can see you guys all agree the Japanese market tomorrow. You're like, cha-ching. <laughs> You're like, oh, we can spend more on ad dollars. There won't be any refunds. <laughs> You're like, then you guys don't need to rotate up your credit card processors because you don't get the chargebacks either, right? I know you guys do that kind of stuff too. I don't know how you guys do that stuff, but it's kind of interesting. You know what's funny? On a side note, all these U.S. affiliate marketers, how many of you guys are from the U.S.? They all moved to the U.S. Virgin Islands so they don't have to pay taxes. Have you guys heard about that? These affiliates are stupid as shit. Why would you move to the U.S. Virgin Islands when you can set up a corporation in Malta? They charge you 5% tax and you can still live in the U.S. 100% of the time. Don't take your advice from affiliates. Take them from bankers. Go find that guy who went to Harvard. Learn finance shit from him. Let the affiliate marketers teach you how to make money and not get chargebacks. <laughs> all right. So... <laughs> I love affiliate marketing though, although I don't do much of it. So when you're trying to figure out a product to create, why not ask people? They can give you feedback. They can tell you what kind of stuff they want to end up buying. All right? So survey your readers. Ask them some things like, and if you don't have readers, go find who you can target on Facebook and ask them questions. What's the biggest problem I can help you solve? What's the biggest challenge you're trying to overcome? You can use tools like Qualaroo and SurveyMonkey. And if you don't have readers, just survey people, anyone within the industry, pick up the phone, Craigslist, whatever it may be, your friend. You want to make sure you survey at least 30 people. Why? It has to be statistically significant. Now you want to get into building a product and making money. I'm going to show you guys some crafty stuff too. Don't try that shit on me. It won't work, but it'll work on everyone you already advertised to on Facebook. All right, so first off, I can't emphasize this more than anything else. Build something you can be proud of. It's longevity. You'll be happy when you build something that you can put your face on. You know those affiliates who are like, oh yeah, I don't want anyone knowing this is my company? Don't build a product if you can't tell people it's your company. If you can be proud of it and put your face on it, you're good to go. All right, so here's a few lessons I learned. A customer should be able to finish your product within three months, right? but not quicker than one month. When you have a digital product, when they finish it before one month, what happens? Too many refunds. When it takes more than three months, what happens? They think it's too much work. You guys can all relate to that, right? If you tell people it's too much work, are they gonna do something? No. That's why affiliates don't start their own e-commerce companies. It's very rare. And the guys who I do look at starting e-commerce companies, it was funny. I, I met one guy who is selling like this anti-aging cream and he was crushing it on Facebook. He was doing literally over $4 million a month. He ran an anti-aging cream. You know what he did? He went to Costco and filled up Neutrogena like cream in his bottles. <laughs> and I'm like, ah. He's like, I gotta pay my Ferrari bills. <laughs> it's sad, but it's kind of funny at the same time. <laughs> so another thing I learned, videos and audio files and worksheets have more value than text-based documents. So pay people to create these videos and audio files for you. Don't overwhelm people with too much information. Make sure it's actionable. And create a membership portal, right, through simple tools. Email, WP member, simple tools like this. The last thing you wanna do is go pay someone a shitload of money, create a membership portal, and not generate too much income. Here's an example of my membership portal. We're using WP member. I use a guy named Volvo. It's not like the car. I thought it was, I would email him saying, hey, Volvo, and he's like, my name's Volvo, V-O-V-O. -O. I was like, oh, my bad. He created this, 1,000 bucks. It's not too shabby, right? It looks pretty good. It even has videos, too. Then you gotta figure out how much you should charge. In general, you don't wanna charge less than 1,000 bucks. $1,000 is a good starting point because when you start th charging $1,000, 
you can end up generating quite a bit of cash from Facebook. And typically, for every dollar you spend, if you suck at Facebook ads, you should be able to generate $2, so a dollar in profit. If you're good, you'll be able to do $3 for every dollar you spend, so two bucks in profit. If you're really good, like I've seen a few guys, they're doing $5 in revenue for every dollar they spend. And they're doing it in quantity on Facebook where they're spending like twenty, thirty thousand dollars a day. Which is good money, right? It's just like how much more can you spend? And you know what the best part about this is? Guess how many Facebook ad accounts they have? One. They don't have to churn and burn or anything. The stuff I'm gonna show you works with just one Facebook account. You don't have to buy more and more or have people set them up for you. So a quick case study, Ramit Sethi from I Will Teach You to Be Rich. He ended up breaking down how he made $5 million in a week from selling a digital product. He pretty much broke down, if you sell a product for $5, look how many units you have to sell, right? You pretty much have to sell a shitload. You need a lot of visitors, roughly $100 million to generate $5 million bucks. Or if you sell a $2,000 product, you only need 250,000 visitors. Which is more realistic? Might as well just go for the 250. So here's a few pricing lessons I learned. Product needs to be at least a thousand bucks. Anything over three thousand dollars doesn't sell well without a sales team, so make it under three thousand bucks. Make sure you're giving enough value at those price points. And make sure your product keeps getting better and better over time by adding bonuses. It helps keep people there. So let's go into how you sell the product. This is the most important part, right? Because you already know you can drive the traffic. It's just about creating something and selling the shit out of it. So first, you can use affiliate products. I love Brazil, it's the easiest. Hotmart is one of my favorite ones. Uh, ClickBank's another really good one. Because the thing with Hotmart that I learned, and I have no affiliation with them. In Brazil, did you know you can do payment plans, like 14, 24 payments, and the person has to pay each and every single one and they can't back out? That's pretty cool, right? Your product can now be really affordable to people. So. You know, I, I've done a ton of this, and I've done it all on a blog. So here's my Brazil version you can end up checking out. If you don't read Portuguese, it's okay. I don't either, but you can get the point of it. So I give a ton of free marketing tips. And then from there, I start collecting emails. I collect emails, then I send them to a product called Webinar Jam. Webinar Jam is a webinar tool that you can sell on. Then I create a PowerPoint, and then I create a follow-up sequence. PowerPoint tips should be at least 1.5 hours long, spend at least 40 minutes educating, then have at least 20 minutes of your sales pitch, have Q&A at the end, and then through Webinar Jam, you show a buy button at the right price. And I'm going through this fast, and the reason being, because I'm going to show you a real life example of this. So let me show you how my presentation works, all right? How I built four multi-million dollar companies from free traffic anyone can access. Funny enough, I also use YouTube ads to promote this. The number one comment on the YouTube ads is, if you can build four multi-million dollar companies through free traffic anyone can get access to, why are you advertising on, uh, not YouTube, Facebook? Everyone's like, why are you advertising on Facebook? Have you guys seen my ads on Facebook? Yeah? Converts really well. I make more of the free traffic than Facebook, but it's because I'm not too aggressive. That's my fault. I don't believe in like selling too hard. So the first part, I get into my goal. My goal is to help you with X, Y, and Z, right? By the end of this, you should know how to do A, B, and C. And then if you stay till the end, this is me pitching you guys, if you stay till the end, I'm also gonna give you notes, but also a framework that's gonna teach you 22 ways you can implement this on your business and drive more traffic. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Neil Patel, yada, yada, yada. Check out some of my accolades, awards, my bio about me, you know. And the reason I'm telling you this is not to brag, but it's more so to show you that the knowledge I have is actually valuable and it works, and that's why you should listen to me. Keep in mind, again, to repeat it for all you guys who aren't listening, this is me giving the pitch. It's a recorded version, right? Then I go in testimonials. Then I go into Tim Sykes, how I helped him get $15 million in revenue. I took him from, I think it was, what, 600000 to $15 million. He's a buddy of mine. I didn't even charge him. And then I talked to him how I got 26% uh, more traffic for him. And then I talk about how I learned all these tactics the hard way, right? What I'm going to show you today is all the tactics that I've learned the hard way. But beautiful part for you guys, you don't have to waste the millions of dollars that I did, and you can learn them all now. And here are the three secrets I'm going to teach you. I quickly go over them, and then I go into secret number one. The first thing is, is if you want 
people to buy from your site, you got to collect emails. I go into a lead magnet, right? Here's an example of Remit Sethi, how he collects emails. And then I also go into how emails are my number one channel. No matter what, it drives consistent traffic. Here's 103,000 unique visitors that I'm getting from emails. And I talk about no matter what, it converts. It's my number one channel, right? It's the highest converting channel by far. And even though it doesn't make up the majority of my traffic, if you look at search, et cetera, emails still drive more revenue than anything else. I think it's like by 40 something percent. And I have stats. I skipped on like half the slides in this presentation, right? And then I talk about a friend, Sarah Underwood, how she started selling a coffee table book. She's a playmate. It was pretty much half naked coffee table books, but it was through emails and she sh sold a shitload, right? And then I talk about how you got to collect emails. And here's some quick ways you can do it. You can do pop-ups. Here's one of mine. Step-by-step -step guide to getting monster traffic. Do you want more traffic? Yes or no? When you click yes, what do you think I tell you? Put in your name and email and I'll teach you how to double your traffic in 30 days. When you click no, what do you think I tell you? Congratulations on having massive traffic. Put in your name and email. I'll teach you how to convert those visitors into customers. You see, it's pretty clever. I know some affiliate tricks here and there. Eh, give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> All right. So when you implement these tactics, you'll see results. And then I go into, this is after I uh, went over secret one, two, and three. Do you guys are all still following along? It starts getting really interesting. And then I go into like how I taught you all these things. And now I'm like, did you find this valuable? I do this in the chat. So Webinar Jam has a chat feature. And they say, yes. I'm still on this slide. I'm like, did you find this valuable? Yes. You want me to teach you something else or uh, talk to you about something else that you'll find also interesting? If you don't want me to, just say no in the chat. And everyone in the chat, what do they say? Yes, yes, please show me, Neil. Why do you think I do this? I'm getting them engaged. When I get them engaged, what are they more likely to do? Buy. When I get them engaged, what are they more likely to do? Buy. That's right. So then I say, introducing the advanced marketing program. What's inside? I stack it. I pretty much break it down tell them the total value. Then I talk about the bonuses. Bonus number one, implementation plan. Surprise number two, private video lesson that teaches you how to get a million visitors a month on your blog, right? All teaching you how to create a blog without spending a single dollar on paid advertising. You think that's valuable, right? $2,000, I'm gonna give that away for you for free. And then I give an overview again of what are you gonna get? Surprise bonus number three, a Facebook group. You can get in there and my group, my team will all help you out. You can streamline this. The group starts helping each other out, right? Then inside the Facebook group. And then I show examples of this. Someone answering a Q&A. Then I talk about how there's a money back guarantee. If you're not happy, you get your money back. What's the beautiful part if you sell this in Japan? <laughs> no one does refunds. <laughs> it's against, like, it goes against the grain of their culture. I'm not saying you should abuse it. I don't abuse it. Um, it's funny, when people are say they're unhappy, I just give them their money back, even if it's after like 90 days. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to do it. Then I go into bonus number four. Want to do this all from scratch so hard, you have to hire the right people. I'll just give you my Rolodex. People who are really good at what they do for pennies on the dollar, like that Volvo guy. Cheap labor, right? Amazing at what he does. And then I get into, hey, I'm also, uh, I didn't go over the Rolodex, right? Uh, so I'm going to let you a little secret. Have you ever wondered how I get to a million visitors? I talk about how through infographics and I paid people pennies on the dollars for the infographics. And then I give you an overview of what you're going to get. $22,000, that's a lot of money, right? For all this stuff. Would you say that's a good deal of 5,000 bucks? That is, but I'm not going to even make you pay 5,000. Not even 3,000, because you know what? You came here, you saw me speak, more so you saw me on my webinar. <laughs> Still works. So if you get started right now, I can only guarantee that this will be available right now. This is when I show the buy button. You can get started today for 997. That converts really well, right? And then I go into testimonials, right? Here's someone, they're happy. Another person, they're happy. This person actually bought a house because they made more money through my shit. Here's another guy, he decided to quit his agency, work for me. And again, I'm like, this is amazing stuff. People are getting amazing results. And then in the chat, people are like, because you can pre-program the chat, they're like, thank you, Neil, I'm in the program. Love it, awesome, amazing, right? And then I'm like, again, buy button. And you know what? 
After I do this, then I go into Q&A, and the Q&A is usually a lot of questions related to the program. So how well do you think this converts? For every 100 webinar signups, how many sales do you think I'm getting? Take a guess. How, I can't hear you. Take a guess. 10, 10 would be amazing. If you got me 10, I would kiss you right now. I don't even care if you're a guy or a girl. I get 3.6. That's pretty good stats. 100 webinar registrations with just name and email, and I get 3.6 sales. All 100 don't even show up to watch a webinar. That's pretty good. It's almost unbelievable, right? Some of you guys don't believe me? If you don't believe me, go to neilpatel.com, sign up for the webinar. I bet you I'll convert at least 3.6 of you. <laughs> it really works. I did that in, uh, I was at what, Online Marketing Rockstars. There was 4,500 people in the audience. I had over 400 webinar registrations. And people in the audience were like, I don't believe this works. And I was just counting myself. I'm like, damn it, I should have charged euros because all these people, you know, yours is worth more than dollars. That was my mistake. So you're going to get half your sales from the webinar. And then the other half, you're going to get uh, at the end, like through your email sequence. So I use Infusionsoft, seven day email sequence. Last two days of the sequence is a countdown clock. I use something called uh, Plus This. Have you guys heard of that? Plus This puts a countdown timer in an email. So it countdowns and it makes the links expire. So it creates a sense of urgency, which causes people to buy, right? And then you also want to segment your list. So that's pretty much it. There's some few cool tricks that you can do too. When people don't attend the webinar, I'm going to give you a few more. So when people don't attend the webinar, use a software called Pick Snippets. It's 47 bucks. I don't own it. I don't own any of this shit. I won't make money from this. But Pick Snippets, $47, and it'll send you an email. Like, what's your name? Asian dude in the front. There's so many Asians here. <laughs> what's your name? Huh? Chris? That's not an Asian name. <laughs> we'll take it, though. Yeah. All right, so Chris here, if you didn't attend the webinar, it's me holding up a sign in a jacket and I email you and it says, with me with a sad face, like, hmm, and it says, why don't you attend the webinar, Chris? Like, question mark, is there something wrong? Pick snippets, writes it out in like handwritten text and it inserts your name dynamically. It's really good. It makes you think I wrote it manually and then you click on it and usually convert later. You should try it. Again, don't believe me? Don't watch the webinar. Sign up for it. Don't watch it. You'll get that email and then you'll buy. <laughs> All right. Another cool thing that I do is I ask for a phone number when people register for a webinar. All right. Check this out. So there's this thing called TurboDial. How many of you guys heard of TurboDial? No one? Oh my God. You guys are going to spam the shit out of this. All right. So what TurboDial does is it'll go and collect all the phone numbers and then it'll message all the people who didn't buy that saw the buy button but they didn't click or they clicked and they didn't buy. It's all automated. And it'll say, I'll text you the next day automatically. And I'll just say, Chris, question mark, a random number. Chris, what would you do if you got a number texting you with Chris, question mark? He, exactly. He would say, who is this? Are you affiliate marketer, Chris? No? Ah, oh, if he was, I would be like, look, I duped you with other tricks. Okay, but imagine Chris is the affiliate marketer. So he's going to say, who is this? Someone responds back. Technically, it's automated. It's like, hey, this is Andre from Neil Patel's team. Neil noticed you watched a webinar. He just wanted, to follow, he wanted me to follow up with you to see if you had any questions. All automated. Once they start responding, the sales guy gets there, picks up the phone, starts calling and closing. Works like a charm. And you can do that for almost anything. But the key is, I've tested the crap out of this, always do it the next day. Don't send the text right away. It's too pushy. Always the next day. And then the other cool thing is when I do webinar jam, I start the webinar every 15 minutes on the clock, and I have a countdown timer on the page. It's going based off the computer. And when you do it every 15 minutes, you know what my show up rate for a webinar is? Almost 70%. So for every 100 people that register, at least 70 will show up because I have a live webinar going every 15 minutes. And then I have people in the chat room 24 hours a day. I got them from the Philippines. Love Asia, good labor costs. Um, we pay them well. And what we ended up doing is we got them in the Philippines. They're in the chat room 24 hours a day and they're messaging people, helping them. And they message them like, 
hey Chris, uh, you know, while you're watching the webinar, feel free to tell me your website URL. I don't mind giving you live feedback and giving you advice. By get, creating that interaction, more people are much more likely to buy. And you know how we make our support staff in the Philippines really good? We hire good ones and we pay them like 1,200 bucks a month. But if they go through the program, which we give it to them for free, we then pay them an extra dollar an hour. So now they're really qualified because they know what they're selling and helping people with and they really do try to help. But this all works out. Now I don't want you guys to abuse this because I know most, the shitty part about this is you guys are going to take up a lot of the Facebook ad inventory and then my cost or my margins are going to go down but I'm okay with that. I don't really care to sell products online. Um, I'm a software guy but nonetheless when you do this shit it'll convert. Did you guys learn something? How many of you guys are going to start selling digital products? It's really easy. I have a few friends that are showing me their tax numbers. Some of these guys are making around, like the shitty ones are doing around like 100, 200 grand a month in profit. The good guys are doing roughly like a million dollars a month in profit. Isn't that way better than selling like other people's products? And then you can do upsells and downsells and you can just start milking more and more money. But make sure you're providing value. Just don't sell shit to sell, right? And don't, I remember, how many of you guys were here were in Berlin? All right, a few of you. I remember in Berlin, I was talking about a presentation and I was talking about how you affiliate marketers make money. And you guys all put those testimonials of Oprah and Dr. Oz on your page, right? Like in your webinar, don't create Oprah. Oprah did not give you a review. <laughs> Dr. Oz did not say you have the most amazing medical product that'll cause you to lose 50 pounds in one month, <laughs> right? So use realistic testimonials, make it believable. Some of you guys are laughing. I'm like, are you doing it? Don't tell me you are using Dr. Oz. You really are. <laughs> Do you live in the US? You're going to get your ass sued. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, why are you saying your name? You shouldn't be saying your name. I hope Rob's really nice. What's your last name, Rob? <laughs> Did you just say Patel? <laughs> You're not brown. You look like a white dude. <laughs> But yeah, don't do what Rob Patel does. <laughs> don't put Dr. Oz in your webinar. <laughs> and just because it's not indexable, you know Dr. Oz isn't going to see it. <laughs> so that doesn't mean you should do it. But you can make legitimate money this way. I have so many friends that are doing this and they're crushing it. You know what their number one problem is? They're like, we're selling too many. I got to hire support staff to answer their questions. This shit sucks. I'm like, what do you mean it sucks? You just netted a million dollars a month for the last 12 months. They're like, yeah, now I got to manage people. I'm getting too many support complaints. I was like, who gives a shit? You made a million dollars a month. But test this out. Now let's get into some Q&A. Anything you have to ask, whether it's SEO, this could be this stuff, how to make money on digital product, I can pretty much Okay, well I've actually got a, a, a couple of questions myself for you, Neil. All right. And then we'll open it up to the audience after that. Sounds good. Um, so I think the first one, one of the really big surprising points for me, I've done a fair number of products myself, um, but really, never, never any product under 1K. Is there, is there any circumstance where you would say that doing a product at a lower price point is actually something that's a good idea? Or is it just flat out, no, never do it? Flat out, no, 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 because it's so easy to arbitrage traffic. Right. Like just right now, I talked to all of you guys. I talked to you guys just for 20 minutes and some change. And now we have a countdown clock, right? So, or 30 minutes technically. But um, when we talk for 30 minutes, do you guys have a sense that you've got to know me a bit? Yeah? Have we bonded a bit? I know Rob Patel and I have. Because we've bonded, now if I made you a pitch, if I told you I can take all your affiliate landing pages and give you a 20% lift, would you guys be more likely to buy because you've seen some of my stuff? Right? So I not just showed you guys some information, but I showed you guys, assuming you actually watched the webinar, it's like some amazing information that talks about how to rank on Google. Like I rank number one and two for the keyword online marketing in the US without buying links or doing anything manipulative. Like, I have legitimate traffic, right? I rank on page one for affiliate marketing, a lot more competitive terms than that. But I've built up a bond. So then when you sell something, they're much more likely to close because they felt that they got to know you. And that's why you, you say better to take that traffic and arbitrage that to high, high, high product numbers. When you're selling product. something emotional, yeah. it doesn't matter. If, like I tested selling it for $500, $1,000, $200. Yeah. 
I just kept making more money when I started charging more. Mm -hmm. Once I started charging 2,000, 3,000, then it started dipping, but mo almost everyone is seeing the same thing. It just doesn't make sense to sell under $1,000 because yeah. that's what everyone else is doing and it converts really well. Yeah, to be fair, um, you have more balls than me. Every time I've started raising prices on info products, um, my nerve has broken before the CBR start, started dropping. So yeah. Okay, so second question. I know you you're very big on the webinars, and I know that's a very popular way of selling info products. What about if you are, uh, unlike either of us, scared of public speaking? If you really, really don't want to do a live uh, public speaking thing with an audience, how would, you, how would you deal with that? All right, how many of you guys are public facing and mind like public speaking? Wow, most of you don't. How many of you guys like outsourcing labor for pennies on the dollar? Like pretty much everyone, go find someone to be your voice. Yeah. Because most of you guys aren't public, right? I know Rob Patel is, and he's using Dr. Oz. <laughs> so as, if you don't want to be public, you don't have to. Just go find someone and go pay them uh, to be your voiceover. You can find someone on Fiverr instead of five bucks, pay them $500. They'll be your voice person. That's probably overpaying, but you get the point. Yeah, then there's, you, you use Voices.com and stuff like that as well, get professional actors. Yeah. Yeah, that works pretty well. Cool. Okay. Um, so in terms of using emotion to drive the sales and drive the traffic, um, obviously a lot of us will immediately think fear because that's how an awful lot of affiliate marketing works. You've yeah, got like, a virus! You know. like, like Agora. Have you guys seen Agora Financial? I haven't actually, no. Then you, have you guys ever seen Agora? The company that makes over $400 million a year saying that the world is going to come to an end? You guys haven't heard of Agora? One of the biggest affiliates out there. They stay in the background because they don't want people knowing who they are. Hence, you guys haven't heard of them. But uh, like in the US, there's a Republican and a Democrat that could be a president, right? Or independent. They always want a Democrat because when there's a Democrat in office, they found that more people feel that the world is more likely to come to an end and they make a killing. Like, you think people selling flashlights make a killing? They make more money than all that shit. Just saying, like, there could be a zombie attack, like, or shit's coming to an end. Buy more gold or buy this, and here's how to survive, like, when the world comes to an end, and et cetera, and they're selling all the supplies. But they're, like, the first people to really revolutionize the quote-unquote survival space, and they're the biggest in the space as well. It's just no one ever knows their real corporate name. So would you, would you say that fear is the most powerful selling emotion? Or would you is or anything that is like people can sympathize too like if you've made mistakes and you're just upfront with people so for example when I started out in marketing I used to think traffic's everything and I built some sites and I generated a lot of traffic but guess how much income I made zero I was a little kid I thought traffic was everything but if you can't convert those visitors into customers you guys know this as affiliates you can get a million clicks but if no one buys it's useless but I didn't know that and when I tell people like I made this mistake and that's why I lost money in my first few businesses, but luckily I don't want other people making the same mistake and I've learned from it and I want to teach you guys it. And if I can just save some people from making the same mistake as me, I'll be happy. Like it's a good emotional appeal that people can relate to. They're like, oh, that's nice. Let me buy. So it's partially you're, you're making yourself vulnerable there yes. and by making yourself vulnerable you build trust. But, but it's also true too, right? Yeah. Like that is the biggest mistake I've made in my career in which for the first five years of my business, I focused purely on traffic and I made very little money because of it. Okay. Um, have you tried programmatic email lists? There's not, you know, this is new big thing, stuff like Drip, that's allowing you to automatically segment and send out different email lists, different emails, different people, depending on what they've done with your product. Yeah, is it, that's is segmentation. That so that's like Infusionsoft. Um, yeah. If you're selling info products, use Infusionsoft. It is the most advanced and flexible one out there mm -hmm. like we do crazy things where if you click on a buy button but you don't buy you get put in a different bucket group and then we send you different stuff or if you watch the first five minutes of the webinar and you didn't finish the rest we send you another campaign that it's an email from my assistant it's all automated but imagine me emailing a girl named Amy and the email is to Amy like hey Amy I noticed Chris only watched the first five minutes of the webinar and he left can you just check in with him to make sure everything's okay with him and his family? I want to make sure everything's okay and nothing wrong happening. <laughs> and then the email goes to Chris. It's automatic. It looks like Amy forwarded it to Chris and the email is like, hey, Chris, Neil wanted me to follow up with you and make sure everything's okay. You can see his note below. That's like a really good way to boost conversions, right? So it's all segmented out like that. Okay, so there's, there's one, one part of your um, presentation that I actually kind of wanted to challenge you a little bit on, sure. if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah challenge so away. You say you have to be an expert. Now, you are clearly an expert on marketing, no question whatsoever, but 
if everyone here has to become an expert in the thing that they, they're going to sell product on before they sell products, that's going to take a while. I mean, I'm, I'm an expert in a couple of things, and it took me about a decade each time. So how expert is expert? Are you talking here? Are you yeah. just talking? What are you talking? Well, you need to know well enough where you can teach other people and they can get value from it, or if you can't go hire or partner up with someone who could be the expert or the face of it. I have someone who sells yoga uh, courses and, and health courses in Brazil. Like, they teach you if you're pregnant, how to have a better spine. And it's just an info product, right? Or how to be a healthy pregnant person. Or how to have less back pain in life. And you know how much they're doing in Brazil? Think about it. Brazil's in one of the worst recessions out there. Right now, they're generating, I kid you not, around four to $500,000, not reais, a month in profit from Facebook ads. They're like, oh, it's not competitive in Brazil. No one's buying traffic for it. And you know what the guys know about health? Nothing. They just found someone who's into yoga and back pain and they partnered with them and they made them create webinars and they recorded it and scripted it and they're like, huh, it sells. And so, they're just killing it because their ad cost to generate that revenue was a bit more than, what's the conversion? It's three point something to one. So like twenty to $25,000 USD a month to generate that income. It's pretty good. Bad. So if you're doing that, would it be basically a case of find your niche, then find your expert? Yeah, but you want to make sure that whatever expert you find, they can give really good value. Because the mm. last thing you want to do is sell someone shit. If you yeah. can't be proud of it, why sell it? That makes sense. OK, so I think we're going to open up at this point to questions from the audience. Uh, we have a couple of mics down the front here. Um, if you have any questions, uh -huh, we already have someone. You've uh, figured it out. Come to the front. Hello. Yeah. So uh, I'm actually asked, uh, I'll ask like three questions, if you don't mind. Go for it. Uh, first of all, it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of like mind-opening uh, things you said. Thank so, you. So first of all, you talked about the 3.6 per 100 um, registrations. Is that including the follow-up and retargeting, or is that only from the first initial uh, registration? Well, if, uh, what I mean by 3.6 is when someone comes to your website and they register for the webinar, I don't remarket them after. They're just registered, and then I keep selling them through email. Okay. Or text um, message. Yeah, so basically the 3.6 sales per 100 registrations is then like the 100 registrations, the 3.6 is then including, like, because you say you follow up if they don't buy. and uh, you So half emailing. the sales will come from the webinar, 1.8? And then the okay. other 1.8 come from email follow-up sequences. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Uh, do you target cold traffic with your Facebook ads? Or yes. Mostly? And I make at least double my money. Okay, awesome. And uh, what's the percentage of the sales that actually come from Facebook, from your Facebook advertising? Uh, you can scale it up to a few hundred thousand dollars a month pretty easily. It's not that hard. Uh, it gets tricky on Facebook if you want to scale to like a million dollars a month in profit. You have to be targeting something that's really broad. Okay, and last question, because I noticed that it's really easy to give a high ticket price to anything that's in the make money online niche. So my question is, do you recommend the 997 ticket price, like what you said here, to a niche that's not related to the make money online niche? Uh, yeah, you can try a 997 price. Most people I know are selling over 997. Um, and even like the spine health stuff, it's in their currency, but in their currency, they have products that go max of $1,000. Their lowest end product is $500 okay. in their niche, just on like health and spine health. I see. Okay, awesome. Thanks. You're welcome. That's an awful lot of people with spines, it turns uh, out. That's right. <laughs> okay, next question, please. Hey, Neil. Hello. Hey, Neil. Uh, we are into WordPress themes and plugins, and uh, you know I wanted to know like m mostly the products sell for about you know fifty to hundred dollars. How do we go? Can you about speak closer to the mic a bit louder? Uh, so uh, you know the products that we sell in industry, entire industry, WordPress, uh, it's like fifty to hundred dollars, not yeah. more than that. And how do we go about you know raising uh, the price point to be almost ten x, like you said? So um, you're selling WordPress related products that helps people, right? Yeah. You can charge more money if you can actually provide more people benefit. So for example, you may have a plugin that helps with traffic generation. Right. You may have a plugin with custom designs. You may have a plugin that helps you monetize. One was if you bundled it all together and you had one plugin that was a master plugin that helped you collect emails, generate sales, optimize it for SEO, has pretty design templates, landing page templates, etc. Right. All in one box. And you know what you can tell people? Hey, you can go and try to do this all on your own for less, but you know what? 
How do you know that that plugin is actually going to help you? How do you know that that design is actually going to convert? How do you know that you're going to generate traffic? We've tested all this. Look at the case studies. Look at the testimonials. Yes, we charge you more, but our shit's proven. And because of that, you're going to pay more money. Okay. You want to go waste time and try to figure it on your own? Go to the WordPress plugin store. Go try downloading shit and come back to me in two months and tell me how successful you are. And um, thank, thanks, thanks. That that helps. And another question I have is like, you know, how do we uh, go about, you know, uh, generate massive traffic for WordPress specific uh, niche? Because you know, most uh, other uh, affiliate uh, networks, etc., are on mainstream, and the WordPress is very niche. So mm, that is where we are having trouble, you know, getting more traffic. Okay, so you give themes away for free. Yeah. Do you put links in the footer? Come again. Do you put links in the footer, in the of the theme? Yeah. Yeah, so step one is remove that link and link to me instead. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not. <laughs> but if you want to do an A-B test on that, you can do that and you can let me know if it got you more traffic or less. Okay. Okay, so the first step is no follow all those links because those links are going to hurt you from a search engine point and it won't cause you to rank well. Google okay. hates when people do that. Um, the second thing I would actually do is partner up with some amazing designers okay. and then give away amazing templates. Because okay. most people give away shit templates for free. Right. Like, how much money do you put into your templates? Uh, like, uh, we do 50000 to 100000 uh, uh, a month. And, uh, you know, no, but how much did you pay for a template to make uh, it? Like, uh, per template, it costs uh, 2000 to $3,000 per Okay, month. go spend $10,000 and go pay some amazing designers, and I bet you you're going to get like 10, 20 times the downloads. Okay. okay. Seriously. Nah. That's the biggest problem. So, I had a friend uh, created Metal Lab Designs. Have you heard of them? They did yeah, Tumblr yeah. themes. He made a killing from Tumblr. Do you know right. what his trick was? Uh, okay. He just designed better themes than everyone else. I've seen the WordPress stats, the Tumblr stats, because I know a lot of people that work at these companies. The shit that does the best isn't people who are marketers. It's like, let's just create beautiful themes because we don't want our name to be shit. Right. And it works better, because most people are like, let me create themes so I can make money. Put the user first. You guys are based in what country? Uh, India. OK, your costs are low, right? right? So you're, you're profiting a lot of money, no? Yep. Yeah, put some of that money back into the business. Right. Don't put it in your pillows. I know in <laughs> India they keep all the money in the pillows. They don't like paying the taxes. <laughs> Look at all the brown people laughing. You guys put the money in the pillows. <laughs> you would know that if you're truly a Patel, Rob. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, put it back in the business. Seriously, don't just try to keep it all for yourself, right? Yeah. Helps it. Thank you. Yeah, like put it back in. I know our parents always taught like, don't spend your money. My mom always teaches me that today. Like still to this day, she's like, Neil, it's easier to save money than make money. I don't know what went wrong with you. You always eat out, like cook your own food, right? <laughs> like my mom still haggles me to this day. Um, but nonetheless, invest more, put it into really pretty themes and then pay bloggers to talk about the themes and email it out to their list. Right. And you'll start noticing that you'll get a ton of downloads really fast and you'll start shooting uh, really high up on all the apps like the plugin, like the WordPress directories, etc., because they'll notice that you're spiking. Thank you. Thank you, Tara. Uh, you're helps. welcome. Best of luck. Okay, I actually have a slight follow up to that one. On the subject right. of spending money to make money, you mentioned that video in particular is very high value. Um, as a filmmaker, I know that there is literally no limits to the amount of money you can spend on your video. So yeah. what kind of video content do you find works? Does it have to be super professionally produced? Do you no. have to have fancy titles? And edgy. And you could make money even arbitraging a product at 60 bucks or 70 bucks. Have, have any of you guys seen Ty Lopez here in my garage? The guy's first and low end product is $66. He makes millions and millions of dollars selling a 67 or $66 product, whatever it is, 60 something dollars. And he just created a low five video of like, here in my garage is my Lamborghini. But you know what's more <laughs> impressive than this Lamborghini? This shelf here, filled with books and knowledge. Have you guys seen the spoof video of that? It's amazing. It's like, here in my garage, you find my Toyota Corolla and the Florida heat, I had to roll down my windows because I don't have uh, AC. But you know what's more amazing than my Toyota Corolla? This uh, shelf. Shelf full of shit. <laughs> right? And then he gets into it, and then he goes into his fridge, and then he talks about, you know, what's even more amazing than this uh, realization of knowledge is this 12-pack, 12 12-pack 12 of beer. And you know what I get from this 12-pack of beer? My beer belly, right? And he just goes into it. But it's hilarious. You guys should check it out. But yeah, you can sell money on anything, right? Like, or you can sell anything. It doesn't matter what price. Create a lo-fi video, 
I was gonna create a YouTube video and just burn 100 grand a month for pure branding, because I make most of my money from the Fortune 1000. And my buddy gave me an idea. He's like, you should buy a Ferrari. I'm homeless and I don't have a car. And he's like, you should buy a Ferrari and just be like here in the street and then just demolish the Ferrari and jump on it. It'd kind of be funny. Um, and then he's like, it'll probably go viral on YouTube, but I, I don't want to spend the money on a Ferrari. <laughs> I guess so, you could demolish the Toyota Corolla instead. Yeah, that would actually be funny too. So, with video, can you actually just get away with like phone video? Or? Uh, yes, and in most cases it converts better than a professional quality video because it's more realistic and people can relate to it and they emotionally connect. So, keep the, light, keep the lighting rigs and Alexa, Alexa cameras at home. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Do we have any more questions from the audience? Yep, yeah, please come up to the mic. Uh, can you talk a bit about creating enough value in a product? to justify a thousand dollar price say like in a fitness niche uh, sure okay so in the fitness niche what is everyone looking to do either get more ripped or lose weight would you agree with that right okay and what's the problem in the fitness niche what's the biggest problem with losing weight or getting ripped what do you mean what's the biggest problem if you want to get ripped or lose weight what's the biggest problem um, follow through yes and it also takes a lot of time yeah Right, uh, have you seen Beachbody P90X and uh, what's the other one? Like they have this 15 minute one that works out in your hotel? Yeah, I've seen those. They don't charge that much. Yes, but they make yeah. all their money on the back end. So right. when you're in small niches and you want quantity and you, you have other products, the reason I say charge 997 is because most people don't have more products. If you have many products so you can create it, you can create a low end product in the fitness niche for 100, 200 bucks like a video series or a training course that teaches people how to get more ripped or jacked, yeah, they're not gonna have as much results compared to if they went to the gym for a year, but if they did it in their home and use body weight or whatever it may be and they were healthy about it, I bet you they can get results. They can get results quickly. They're not gonna look like Brad Pitt or Drew Canoli who speaks later on today. The guy's ripped, right? Um, but he's, he takes a lot of time and energy and he's good at it and he's passionate, right? But not everyone's gonna look like that jack because they're not like me. There's no way I'm gonna go and like get ripped. And if I did, I'd probably lose money because I walk in a corporation and they'd be like, you can't be a nerd, you're too jacked, <laughs> right? It's funny, that's actually the stereotype. I had a buddy, Tim Sykes, who sells digital products and he's like, I don't wanna work with AJ anymore. He's too buff. And I'm like, doesn't mean he's dumb, but you know, it's just a stereotype. But the point I'm trying to make is you can go and create an info product like that's educational, like a Mike Chang right, sell that and then have a lot of upsells and downsells. So is that the best plan, the best idea, to start low? That's correct, it, because in your space, you can cast a really wide net. In my space, I can't cast a wide net. When you can cast a wide net and go after tons of people, charge low and then have multiple products that go up to like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 dollars. In the fitness niche, people will spend thousands of dollars on improvement. So can you give an example of what kind of product would be worth like 3,000 or 1,000 dollars? Sure, I would first start with a low end product, maybe a video series that teaches how to, uh, people how to work out at home, like busy parents when you have kids, and how to make it entertaining to keep your kids busy at the same time, or like work out with your kids or your family. Then from there, I would uh, sell them other products, you can do upsells and downsells into like protein powder, supplements, um, whatever it may be. Then from there, I would get into uh, weekly coaching. It could be all automated on Facebook. And you can give people a login system where like they track their weight, their meals, and you do meal plans for people. And you can charge, let's say, $100 a month for that. And then from there, I would start having products that cost 1000 to $2,000 where you have your own personal trainer or personal coach with you and you do Skype sessions and you can find people like who are trainers on Craigslist and you can pay them per hour that they work with these people and you can just arbitrage it. You can easily charge a thousand to two thousand dollars for that. I know uh, the Muscle for Life guys, they were starting to charge people a few thousand bucks for training sessions over Skype and it was working really well with them. The biggest problem that they had is they couldn't scale it up fast enough and find enough trainers that they really believed in. Would you do that marketing mostly through email or? Uh, first I would get them through With Facebook or YouTube, then collect an email and then uh, either send them to a webinar or uh -huh. instead of collecting an email, have them register for the webinar, which is like an email sign up, right? Same thing, we'll right, have them watch right. a webinar, sell them yeah, more. Yeah, I mean like then, the up, for the upsells afterwards? Yeah, all through emails email. and on checkout. So you'll notice okay, that if right. you're selling a low end product, you can double to triple your revenue on checkout if you offer uh, three upsells slash downsells. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That was fantastic.
I might make that product now. Okay, um, unfortunately we have run out of time, so I'd just like to thank you very much for that fantastic no talk. And thank you everyone for having me. So if you like this video, like, comment, share, I do appreciate it. And if I can ever do anything to help you out genuinely, even if it's you know giving you some advice, I don't care for the money, just leave a comment below and I will do my best to try to help you out and answer all your questions. Thank you for watching.